Hey guys, it's Shannon, and welcome to Sample Saturday, week 28. So, first of all, I'm sorry if this is up so late. I'm actually refilming it. This is the second time I'm filming this because for some reason, I, I've been really tired lately, and I thought that the video at the bottom was a different video because on my camera, it shows, like, all my videos at the bottom, and then I can just click on them and delete it. And there's one video down there. For some reason in my head, I was like, oh, that's a video from last week. I can delete it. So I deleted the video. Um, so I put the two samples I pulled out back in the box. I'm just going to pull out some different ones. And we're just redoing this. And I didn't realize it because I just went to upload it just a couple minutes ago. And that's when I realized it. So, um, yeah. So I had the Mad Lash Black Mascara from The Bomb. And the... Oh my gosh, I don't know how to say this. Ciate London Liquid Velvet Liquid Lipstick. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if it's not. Um, I'm going to start with the mascara. Um, I really liked this um, at first. Like, it looks really nice when you first put it on. It makes your lash lashes look really full and really big and everything. And it makes your bottom lashes look phenomenal. But probably three hours into wearing it, it looks so clumpy and your eyes, like the best way I can describe how this mascara feels is if you've been wearing mascara, like makeup in general for like 12 hours and your eyes just feel like so heavy and everything from your makeup, it feels like that after three hours. Like my, I asked my friend Miranda to look at it when I wore it on Monday. And she just said it looks really, really clumpy. But, like, like she said, the bottom lashes look phenomenal. Like, you actually can tell I have bottom lashes with this. And normally you can't do that. Um, so, I did really like that. Um, but I will use up the sample. But I'm not going to purchase it. Um, just because I didn't like how, with just three hours into wearing it, it looks so, like, clumpy. And so, and it, like, your eyes hurt so much from wearing it and everything and that's just applying one coat i don't even want to think what could happen if you like apply more than one so and also when you take it off it feels like like once you wear it probably longer than eight hours it feels like there's little chunks of the mascara in your eye because it like falls like it flakes a lot and it just hurts your eyes so bad, and I had so much trouble. I've been having to use eye drops all week just to try and flush those, like, little clumps out that fall into your eyes. And I've been having so much trouble with my eyes, and I'm going to have to give my eyes a break for the next couple days because my eyes just hurt so bad from it, like, falling into my eyes and everything. So, I like I said, I will finish out the sample because... Um, like, I mean, I didn't pay that much more. I just got it, I think I got it from a Sephora box or an Ipsy bag, but I will use it up just because I don't like wasting product, or I might give it to Miranda, like, because she likes to try them sometimes. Um, like, obviously she uses a different brush and stuff, but I might see if she wants to try it, um, and if not, then I'll just use it up and, like, just use it for those days when I'm not going to be wearing mascara for very long. And yeah. So then the liquid lipstick. The color was absolutely beautiful, but it completely destroyed my lips. And let me explain. The first like two hours into wearing it, it looks absolutely beautiful, but then it just starts drying out your lips like incredibly. Like my lips were just so chapped and dry, and my lips are still like so raw and just chapped. I've been putting on chapstick like crazy today, just trying to get them to heal up and everything. But I mean, it looks beautiful on, but like it kept making my lips peel and my lips just hurt so bad. And like my friends and my mom kept telling me like, quit biting your lips. Cause I have that problem with like, when my lips are chapped, I like bite my lips and stuff. And I kept doing that. So my lips are like in horrible condition. I don't think you can tell. Um, but like I have a split down the middle from where they've been peeling so much and it I mean if the formula wasn't so dry I think I could wear it and it would look really nice um, But it'll be the same way as the other I'll use it until it's gone, but I won't repurchase it I mean if the formula was a little bit more like not so like dry Then I would like it, but also it takes like 45 minutes for 
it to like completely dry like normally a liquid lipstick it takes maybe five minutes at most but this it took takes 45 if not longer for it to dry down to an actual liquid lipstick and this is in the color pinup by the way and it's like a nude with the undertones of like pink i'm sorry i'm getting the hiccups if you're wondering why i keep talking weird i'm getting the hiccups and i'm trying not to let them out um but yeah so if this wasn't so drying i would probably wear it more because this is like an everyday color for me like i would wear this a lot but it's so dry that i just can't so now we're gonna pull out a couple samples i'm not gonna hold the box up because it is very heavy also this isn't supposed to be in here my i keep putting it in there my grandpa keeps putting it in there when he comes in my room <laughs> and yeah but we're just gonna pull out a couple samples and yeah so i'm just gonna And here I can't even like move my, my hand around. Alright, what's this? Alright, this is the a little bit of Bumble and Bumble BB Straight Blow Dry. Okay. Um sorry, itchy nose. Uh I'm not exactly sure what this is. I'll have to do some research on it, but I think you like put it in your hair and then blow dry it. I think that's what I'm getting from the name. So, that's what that looks like. If you know anything about how to use the product and everything, let me know in the comments below. Because it literally says nothing. Like, as you can see from the back and then the front. So, I'll have to do research on this. Or you guys can let me know in the comments down below. And, I'm sorry, my nose is so itchy all of a sudden. Now, we're just going to pull out another product. So, let's just go for it. I keep grabbing it. Okay, this is the Sephora Green Tea Sleeping Mask. And I haven't tried this, but it's just a little bit. So I'm going to pull out a third one just so I have enough for the week because this isn't going to last like all week. And I'm just going to pull out something quick, like the first thing I grab. I say that and then I take forever. I don't want a lipstick because I have. Um, a thing that I'm doing with lipsticks this week. Okay, I'm literally just gonna... What is this? Okay, this is the Naked Urban Decay Flushed, like, little palette thing. Um, and then it comes with, like, bronzer and blush and highlight. And I have swatched these, so, um, I should have enough to use this a couple times. I don't know if I'll be able to use it, like, every single day. But yeah, so that's my products for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry again that it's up so late, and I am exhausted right now, so I'm not very, like, extravagant in this video. But yeah, so then that's it for today. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.